In 3ds Max, sometimes you'll find yourself in a situation where you have to customize the display properties of the objects in your scene in order to be able to work a little bit easier and continue working here a little bit more productive. Here's an example of what I'm speaking about. Here I have an apartment scene, basically it's a room here with a whole bunch of furnishings inside. Now to work in this scene, say for example if I want to work with the objects in here, but I want to work from a view that's kind of a, a little bit far away like this so I can see things a little bit better. The problem is that different objects are getting in the way. These walls for example are in the way, my, my own ceiling here is in the way, and so is my floor. So what can I do? What kind of options does 3ds Max have to help me uh, help my work become a little bit easier? Well, that's what uh, tuning the display properties of individual objects allows us to do. So let's go ahead and explore that. Let's take this ceiling up here for example. I'll go ahead and right click on top of it. I'll go to Object Properties and this will open up the Object Properties window. From here I have a Display Properties section of parameters down here in the lower left. There's a whole bunch of different parameters and options that I can choose to be able to view this ceiling inside of my viewport a little bit different. So one thing that could help me is by turning on the see through option up here. Once I select that and hit OK, you notice that now I can see through the ceiling here almost like it's a dark window. So that can actually help me to work a little bit easier. Now it helps me view my scene a little bit easier, but whenever I try to select things, sometimes that window, or I'm sorry, the ceiling will actually get in the way. So let's look at another thing that we can do here. Let's take these walls here for example which are really blocking my view and I'll right click, go to Object Properties and what I can do is I can turn on Back Face Call. Back Face Call, once active, will hit OK. Allows us to still view our walls. You can see the wall back there. As I turn and rotate my camera, the walls still exist in the scene. However, when I look at the back side of the walls, that the part where the normals are facing away, you'll notice that now the walls become completely invisible. So this becomes extremely useful for working on a scene like this, especially an environment scene where you're working on an interior and there's a whole bunch of different objects in your way. Objects like walls, ceilings, floors, large columns or pillars, uh, whatever it is, this can actually help you to work a little bit easier. And the good thing about using backface cull is that my walls still remain in my scene. I can actually select my walls, as you can see, but at the same time, whenever I'm looking through the back face of the walls, I can actually easily select objects that are inside of the walls or inside this room for example so nothing gets uh, obstructed. See if I go over here to the ceiling all we're doing is seeing through the ceiling but the ceiling is still here so I can actually still select the ceiling. So that may be something you want to do or maybe something you don't want to do. I'll go ahead right click go to object properties and turn off see through. I'm gonna go ahead and use back face call instead and I can see the ceiling looks like it disappeared but if I look at this from the bottom up there's the ceiling, it's still right there in my viewport. So that's how you can actually go ahead and customize some of the display properties of objects in 3ds Max to help you work a little bit easier and a little bit more productive.